everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about series 3 of the 6th series of Doctor Who which is The Curse of the Black Spot but I need to do this really quickly because as you see there I, I am the next victim for the siren so I don't know if she could take me away during begin the beginning of this video or the middle or the end or I might have to say goodbye before she takes me away but I know that you know time is numbered so I need to be really quick with this one. So I wasn't really looking forward to this episode to be honest with you because River Song wasn't there. During the first two episodes of the series I got really obsessed with River, River Song as a character and I was like really, I spent quite a long time researching the character and trying to find out who she is. Um, needless to say I'm no further with that quest. But I was like, oh I don't want this episode because I'm going to miss River. I'd also like to point out that pirates absolutely terrify me completely. Vampires and pirates are my two biggest fears in life. Well, maybe. But I, I, pirates really do scare me. I've never seen Pirates of the Caribbean, Paul, because I don't like Johnny Depp. But I really, he was like, oh dear, pirates, this is going to be pretty scary. And from the trailers, it looked like the entire thing was set around vicious pirates. They looked like the evil creatures. So that was a bit of a red herring to start off with, because obviously they turned out to be fairly friendly pirates. Um, when I first heard the sirens call, I was like, that is absolutely beautiful. It, it reminds me of some in another piece of music. It kind of reminds me of a Christmas carol with a really soft, beautiful, gentle music. That's what it reminds me of. It took me until just now to figure that out. And um, But it is absolutely beautiful, and that alone makes it so, so weird. Because when you see this beautiful, this beautiful, almost angel-like glowing siren, it's like, she can't cause no harm until she hisses and goes bright red and scary. That was terrifying. That really did make me jump, terrified the life out of me. Um, also there was a pentagram, there was a pentagram on the box, in, on the ship in one of the boxes. I was like, oh look, pentagram, I got really excited. This was all within the first like 10 minutes of the show, I was totally, totally ecstatic. My opinion had completely changed around, I was no longer like, I miss River. I was like, this is brilliant. <laughs> so it was really quite um, interesting. The idea of the black spot can start a new Doctor Who trend. You know, for example, like the whole, are you my mommy thing, with putting your hands through the letter box, that was a great trend. Um, what else has there been? The whole Toby Z thing was a great trend where you could draw all over yourself. And now we have this one. Note, I did not draw that on myself. That is, actually, look, see, as you can see there, I have a spot there. I picked it. I bled. The siren is coming to get me. I live on the coast, so I kind of live near a beach, kind of, so she can easily get hold of me. So, you know. But yeah, the idea of the block, the block spot. The black spot, I find, is a really easy concept, a really great thing, and something that Doctor Who fans everywhere can you know totally get totally sucked into it's brilliant and um, I also really loved this is in chronological order by the way not just importance I loved the relationship between Amy and Rory in this the fact that Rory said the siren was the most beautiful thing you'd ever seen once he was under her spell and um, obviously Amy took that really well and um, inside she probably didn't but exterior she didn't show it and I thought that was really really great and I loved that scene and um, then we have young Toby and it was absolutely fantastic to see o Oscar Lloyd in this, who played Will Wilde in Emmerdale. Um, Emmerdale fans will obviously know that. Brilliant little actor, so I was quite excited to see him in this. Because very rarely they'll use a child actor that I already know of, but the fact that he came from Emmerdale is great. Um, he is fantastic, I love him. Um, then we had that woman with the eye patch, with the silver eye patch, who came through the non-existing hatch. She's starting to annoy me like something not right. I mean, seriously, it's like, just go away. Who is she? I She is the only person I have no theories on. I kind of initially had a theory, but now I'm like, no, I don't know who you are. Um, I checked the, that, the woman with the eye patches list on IMDb. Um, you know, she's not been in it before. We haven't seen her before. We don't know who she is. And it's like, is she connected to River or is she connected to Amy's positive negative thing? It's really a tough one to call and I don't really know. I, I have no idea who she is. I really, really don't. Um, the bit where Rory drowned, I was like, has he gone? He can't He can't die, can he? He can't. The bit at the very, very end when the wind and Amy was trying to save his life, I just, I genuinely thought that that was it. I thought that's how they're going to get Rory out of the TARDIS, so it's just back to two. Because sometimes I like it when it's just two in the TARDIS, but Rory is... No, stupid face. He lives up to his name. It's really adorable. I genuinely, you see there, I even drew a little, a little tear, um, a little eye with tears. Because I was just genuinely devastated. I was like, this is absolutely appalling. He's gone. He's gone. No. Um, 
but of course he wasn't. So that was brilliant. I was like, oh, phew, mega relief there. The only thing that really annoyed me was the fact that they were in a parallel universe. Whether it was not whether it was a parallel universe to Earth or not, it wasn't really clear because it just wasn't clear. But I'm like, hang on, you're in a parallel universe. You allegedly couldn't go to that parallel universe because it had ripped the atmosphere apart. Go and get Rose. Go and get her and let her join the TARDIS. I was like, you know, parallel universe. Go, go find her. Clearly he didn't. And obviously deep down I wouldn't actually want that. But, you know, I'm still caught up on series two and four. So part of me was like, you know, Never mind. Um, also my favourite quote in the whole thing was when the doctor ordered, you know, go to bed pond. I love it when he calls it pond, I just think it's brilliant. Um, and obviously we're still, we're still no further into the truth about Amy's whole really awkward situation. Hopefully we'll find out. The next episode, the doctor's wife, um, no. I'm not looking forward to this because, well first of all I don't want the doctor to have ever had a wife because that's just not fair. No, not. Um, so I'm not really looking forward to it in that sense. Plus at the very end we just saw the clip of the Ood. I thought they'd overdone the Ood with series 4. I'm like I don't want the Ood back. Go away. So for them to come back in series 6 I was like no I'm, I'm not happy with this whatsoever. I might enjoy the episode but I will always stand by that I do not want the Ood to be overdone. I don't think they're special creatures. You know for example the Daleks. Yes get them back every time. Cybermen. Yeah keep them coming back. The Ood? I mean, why the Ood? Why not the Krillitane or the, the the Vespa form or the Centaurin? I mean, I know the Centaurins do come back every now and then. But why the Ood? What's so special about the Ood? I just don't, I'm totally anti Ood. <laughs> just totally Ood. But yeah, so I just don't understand it. But you guys may like the Ood. Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, my time is up. I really have to go now because this video is, this video is quite long already. And you know, I really don't, I don't have much longer left. So this might be my last ever video, you know, unless the doctor can come and save me, which he will. I know he's out there. He will come and get me. Um, but yeah, so this is it. I'm going to have to end this video now before, before the siren calls me. Um, yeah, but I will see you all later and thank you for watching. Bye.